Trump News Stormy Daniels' court appearance hurts Trump's Me Too accusers. Trump's campaign to run again is alarmed several of the women who have publicly accused him of kissing or caressing them inappropriately, sometimes claiming assault. As Stormy Daniels testified about sex with Donald Trump last week, Amy Doris avoided the news. But minor aspects from Daniels's story lingered with her, she added. The age gap. Daniels recalls leaving a hotel toilet and seeing Trump in boxers. Doris recalled meeting Trump outside a lavatory in 1997 while in Trump's VIP box at the U.S. Open tennis tournament with her boyfriend. I came out, Doris said, and there he was. At his Saturday Jersey Shore rally, former President Trump attacked Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, D., and President Biden Moore. Trump regularly criticized Bragg and Judge Juan Merchant in the New York hush money case. In the Manhattan case, he blamed Biden for his legal problems, even though his government was not involved. As you know, I've traveled here from New York, where Biden is forcing me to endure a show trial, Trump remarked. He branded Merchant corrupt and highly conflicted and Bragg fat Alvin in his newest accusations. He called his multiple indictments bulls. I got indicted four times in a matter of three seconds, he claimed. Trump told a big crowd at his speech that he can win New Jersey. The Garden State has voted for the Democratic presidential candidate in the last eight elections, and Biden won with 57 percent of the vote in 2020. The Associated Press stated that Wildwood spokesperson Lisa Fagan estimated the rally crowd at 80,000 to 100,000 people. AP reported that Rep. Jeff Van Drew, Republican New Jersey, and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, R., attended. The hush money trial, where Stormy Daniels testified about her 2006 sexual encounter with Trump, was a rough week for Trump. Trump denies affair. Trump cannot criticize witnesses, jurors, prosecutors, court workers, or the judge's family, per Merchant's gag order. He may still insult Merchant and Bragg, whom he criticizes every day. Trump has been fined $10,000 for 10 gag order violations and told last week that more violations might result in jail time. The former president faces 34 charges of fabricating business documents for reimburses to Michael Cohen for a payment to Daniels before the 2016 election to be quiet about the affair. Trump has denied culpability. Trump visits the Jersey Shore on a hush money trial break. State law requires him to attend his trial in New York, and the judge must grant him leave. Pro independence parties lost ground in Catalonia's regional election to Pedro Sanchez's socialists. Under previous Spanish health minister Salvador Illa, the Catalan Socialist Party, PSC, won big. It won 42 seats with 99% of votes. The Catalan Statistics Institute reports 42% independence support down from 49% in 2017. Catalonia's drought and housing crises overshadowed its ties with Spain in the campaign before to this election. The staunch the former regional president Carles Puigdemont's Together for Catalonia, JX Cat, party placed second with 35 seats, regaining its position as the region's main pro-independence party ahead of the Catalan Republican left. However, nationalist parties lost support and lost control of the regional parliament, hurting the independence effort. Pro-independence groups have won significant concessions from the central government in recent years and still want a referendum. The minority ERC government of Per Aragonés called the sudden election after failing to adopt the region's yearly budget. Mr. Sánchez will see this as vindication of his Catalan policies particularly a controversial amnesty provision for nationalists facing separatist charges. Right-wing opponents are slamming the amnesty in the Spanish parliament. Mr. Illa called it a new era for Catalonia. He added the result was due to the initiatives established by the Spanish government and its prime minister, Pedro Sánchez, to whom I extend my appreciation and thanks. Mr. Sanchez formed a new central government in November with legislative support from JX Cat and ERC, which required the amnesty bill. The amnesty should allow Mr. Puigdemont to return to Spain after his unsuccessful secession bid in 2017. He campaigned in southern France before this election. Despite the socialist success, 
Mr. Illa will likely require ERC and the far-left Komen Sumar Alliance to create a government. Puigdemont demanded that ERC not join a partnership with the Unionist PSC. Instead, he urged the two biggest pro-independence parties establish an administration, as they had before their partnership fell down. If ERC is eager to rebuild bridges, so are we, Puigdemont stated. However, the Catalan Parliament's unionist separatist and left-right divisions would likely prolong post-election negotiations. A rerun election will occur without a new administration. Conservative People's Party, PP, gained ground to become Catalonia's fourth party, followed by far-right Vox. After seven years as the region's main power, Ciudadanos centrists lost their parliamentary seat. Catalan Alliance, a new far-right party, gained two seats with its separatist and anti-immigrant program.